In this part of the computational intelligence course related to fuzz systems, we will continue fuzz relations. First, we will cover the definition of join of two relations, and then we will examine it in detail through examples. We will see also how the composition of two relations can be obtained from their join. We will furthermore cover the graph representation of binary relations defined on a single set. And also we will see the definition of reflexive, symmetric and transitive fuzzy sets based on binary relations. A similar operation on two binary relations is the relational join, etiosteropolis, whereas composition returned pairs. For a relation P on XY and another relation Q on YZ, the relational join P star Q is defined by relational join is defined on XYZ. Here we have XY and YZ, so join is defined on XYZ. We are, we are constant the value of the relation P on XY and value of the relation at YZ and we are choosing the minimum of these two to find out what is the value of the join at XYZ and this is repeated for each possible x, y, and z. So this is defined on triplets x, y, z. Then the max mean composition is obtained by aggregating the join by the maximum. So if we obtain join from that one by taking the maximum values over y, we can find out what is the value of the composition of p and q at point Hz. So here for each x and z we are constant all possible y values and we are constant the value of the join function and we are choosing the maximum value there. For example, consider the relation a x y on x and y here we have the fuzzy values for the relation and we have relation b y z from y to z again we have some values between zero and one and this is the join for each one we are considering the minimum of two for example, here we are considering one A alpha. This is one and A, it has value 0 0.3. And then we should consider A alpha. This is A alpha, which has value 0 0.7. So we are choosing the minimum of 0 0.3 and 0 0.7, which is 0 0.3. So the join at 1a alpha has value 0 0.3. To find out the value for 1a beta, this is 1a, it is 0 0.3, and a beta, 0 0.2, Minimum of this two is 0 0.2. Or for some another point, 2a alpha. This is 2a 0 0.6 and a alpha 0 0.7. So the minimum is 0 0.6. The value of the join is 0 0.6. In order to find the value of the composition at one alpha, for example, we have to consider different values of y. Here for one alpha, here we have 0 0.3, one a alpha, and another 
value for y is b, 1 b alpha is 0 0.5. So we have to choose the maximum one, it is 0 0.5, to find the value of the composition at 1 alpha. The join as join of p and q of the relations p and q has the following membership function shown below on the left hand side to convert this join into its corresponding composition that is the relation p composition q shown on the right hand side the two indicated pairs of s x y z are aggregated using maximum so we are given s which is join of p and q we are trying to find out R, which is composition of P and Q. Here we have possible values for X, Y, Z. For example, for X, we have four different values, one, two, three, and four. For Y, we have three different values, which are A, B, C, and for Z, we have alpha and beta, two different values. If an entry is not shown, if a combination is not shown here, it means that it has value zero. For example, here we have one A alpha, but we don't have one B alpha and one C alpha. That means that 1 b alpha is 0, 1 c alpha is 0. Or consider this one, 1 c beta is 0. For any entry here for the composition, for 1 alpha, for example, we are considering all the entries having value one for x and z as alpha. Here, there's only one entry, so we are choosing 0 0.6 as the value. Or for composition at point one beta, we are considering all combinations where x is one and z is beta. Here we have two entries and for these two, the value is 0 0.7 and 0 0.5. So choose the maximum one. We have 0 0.7 as the value of one beta. Here it is explained also in detail. We are taking the entry of the join at one A beta. It is 0.7 and also the value of the join at 1b beta, which is 0 0.5, and we are choosing the maximum of these two, which is 0 0.7. It is also possible to define crisp or fuzzy binary relations among elements of a single set X. Such a binary relation can be noted by a relation on xx or relation on x square, which is a subset of Cartesian product of x with x, that is x square. This is binary relation in the classical sense. These relations are often referred as directed graphs which is also a representation of them. Each element of X is represented as a node. Directed connections between nodes indicate pairs of X, element of the reference set X, for which the grade of the membership is non-zero. Each connection is labeled by its actual membership grade of the corresponding pair, in R. It is also possible to define crisp or fuzzy binary relations among elements of a single set X. Such a binary relation can be denoted a relation on 
x and x or r x squared, which is a subset of x Cartesian product x of it is written as x squared. These relations are often referred to as directed graphs, which is also a representation of them. Each element of x is represented as node. Directed connections between nodes indicate pairs of x, element of reference set x, for which the grade of the membership is non-zero. Each connection is labeled by its actual membership grade of the corresponding pair in R. In fuzzy relations, the value of the connections is between 0 and 1. As an example, the relation defined on x, where x is 1, 2, 3, and 4, two different representations are shown below. This is the matrix representation, and this is the graph representation. For the matrix representation, here we have the values of x from 1 to 4, and also for the columns, we have the values of x. And here, the value of the corresponding entry is written. The membership value for 1, 1 in the relation is 0 0.7. And for 1, 2, it is 0. For 1, 3, it is 0 0.3. And here, notice that for 1 to 1, it is 0 0.7, shown in the graph. And for 1 to 2, 1 to 2, it is 0. There is no need to show an H with value 0. And from 1 to 3, it is 0 0.3. For 1 to 4, the value is 0, so no connection is shown here. Looks like this is not a symmetric matrix. Because of that, the value, for example, from 1 to 3 is not same as the value from 3 to 1. From 3 to 1, it is 0 0.9, while from 1 to 3, it is 0 0.3. A crisp relation, R x x, is called reflexive if and only if for each x element of the reference set x, x, x itself should be element of the relation. It is called symmetric if and only if for each x and y element of the reference set, x, y is element of R, implies that y, x is also element of the relation R and vice versa. If y x is the element, then x y should be element of the relation. In that case, the relation is called symmetric. A crystal relation is called transitive if and only if x z is element of the relation whenever both x and y element of the relation and y Z is the element of the relation for at least one Y element of the X. So for the flexibility for each node, we have a we have an arc from the node to itself. For symmetry, if there is an arc from A to B, there should be an arc from B to A. And for the transitivity, 
if there is an arc from A to B and from B to C, then we have an arc from A to C. All these properties are preserved under inversion of the relation. These properties can be extended for fuzzy relations, so one can define them in terms of the membership function of the relation. A fuzzy relation R xx is called reflexive if and only if for each x in the reference set the value of the relation at xx should be equal to 1. It is called symmetric if and only if for each x and y in the reference set the relation value at x, y should be equal to value of the relation at y, x. Whatever the value of the relation between 0 and 1 at point x, y, the value should be the same for the point y, x. A fuzzy relation is transitive if it satisfies the value of the relation at x, z, is greater than equal to maximum of the constant all y values minimum of r x y and r y z so we are considering the minimum of r x y and r y z and then over all y values we are choosing the maximum this is for each x z element of the x square. Note that a fuzzy binary relation that is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive is called fuzzy equivalence relation.